Hello. Welcome to Sean Academy. Today in this video we're going to learn how to start a solar farm business. My name is James and I will be your business consultant in this video. Now, before we start a solar farm business, let's take a closer look at what goes into starting one and how we can make yours profitable. A solar farm is a large plot of land with multiple ground-mounted solar tracking towers installed. It is usually on a working farm or other open, mostly unimproved land. The solar farm developers industry is made up of companies that primarily install and construct utility-scale solar power grid systems known as solar farms. Work performed in the industry includes new construction, reconstruction, rehabilitation, and repairs, among other things. Solar is America's fastest-growing renewable energy source producing enough clean, reliable, and affordable electricity to power more than 2.2 million homes. Solar has generated tens of thousands of new American jobs and injected tens of billions of dollars into the American economy. In fact, more solar has been installed in the United States in the last 18 months than in the previous 30 years. Over the last five years, the solar farm developers industry has exploded. Demand for new solar farms has been driven primarily by government incentives, such as the Solar Investment Tax Credit which provided tax breaks to encourage private investment in solar technologies. Solar farms and other solar power development projects have been built at an increasing rate over the last five years as a result of these incentives. This is due to the fact that solar technology is not yet cost competitive with other types of energy used in power generation. Let's look at the costs of establishing a solar farm. When starting a solar farming business, landowners should consider a number of factors. To connect and run your solar project in parallel with the utility grid, you will need to obtain permission from the local utility company. In some states, obtaining permission to interconnect can cost up to $30,000. On a large scale, your solar farm should have a minimum capacity of 1 megawatt, which is enough to power approximately 200 households. A 1 megawatt farm typically costs around $1 million to install. This includes the purchase of land, solar equipment, the establishment of an office, payroll, and marketing. Leasing land to a utility company is a more cost-effective option for solar farmers with limited startup capital. The cost of installation and maintenance of the panels is covered by the utility company with which you have partnered. While the profits are significantly lower with this option, the initial expenses are also significantly lower. Let's look at the ongoing costs of running a solar farm. Mortgage, insurance, property taxes, licensing, and attorney and financial advisor fees are all ongoing costs for your solar farm. Those who provide services other than land leasing must also consider payroll costs, increased insurance costs, travel expenses, and continuing education fees. It is critical to understand your target market. It is a common misconception that solar farms are only needed by utility companies. If you do not want to lease your land to a utility company, consider contacting the following organizations, financial institutions, manufacturers and distributors, blue chip companies, real estate developers and contractors public works departments, sports facilities, and television stations, the best way to make money is to lease the land to a utility company. In exchange for the use of your land for an agreed-upon period of time, they pay you an annual lease payment. A variety of factors, including the size and quality of your land, as well as market demand and local land prices, will influence the lease rate your land can yield. Farms produce between $500 and $800 per acre per month on average. If your 100-acre land lease pays $700 per acre per month, your solar farm could bring in $840,000 per year. Solar farm owners who want to increase their profits should consider using their annual profits to buy more land. Continuing education and the appropriate certifications may also assist a business owner in expanding their services, making them more valuable to current and potential clients. If you found this video useful, please show your appreciation by clicking the like button. Also. Let us know in the comments if you'd like us to make a long, comprehensive follow-up video to learn more about how to start a solar farm business. Also, don't forget to click the subscribe button to see more videos from Sean Academy, an extension for education.